How's it going, people? Wanted to share some uh, important news if you care about whether you're being defrauded when you go to a psychic. You want to get a real one, not a fake one, right? I found this and a few other interesting items uh, over the weekend. I live in ground zero for religiotards, apparently. I work in the area. We got J-dubs, Scientologists pushing back and forth, and the Christian science uh, reading room down the room, down the road, and the new ideal org. <laughs> yeah, these were all over the place. There's a few others from the same people, but it's you know there's a crystal ball. Don't let this happen to you. When you go to a psychic, you want to get the real deal. Some possible ways to identify a phony psychic. I didn't know there were any phony psychics. They're all real. Especially Miss Cleo. For every one real psychic, and they've capitalized every letter in psychic all the way through this. Yeah, the whole word psychic is capitalized. For every one real psychic, it is estimated that there are 50,000 who scam the public. No footnotes, no, uh, nothing cited. I don't know where that came from. They just pulled that out of their ass or out of their crystal ball or off their Ouija board. <laughs> I don't know been estimated by somebody. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Sweet and loving as they may seem, they do not have your best interest at heart. Them too? Oh, it was just the politicians. <sighs> Damn. Currently, every, uh, currently, anyone can put out a shingle and call themselves a psychic. Hey, you forgot to capitalize the whole word. Oh, probably because it, it's being used in an apocryphal way. They only use it for real psychic statements. We are currently working with agencies to regulate and stop this practice of just hanging a shingle and calling yourself a psychic. Agencies, huh? Hmm. No footnotes. Agencies, huh? You know, people can call themselves, get, a, get together a bunch of people and call themselves an agency, I guess. They can do it. They can call themselves that. Call yourselves anything. It doesn't make you anything except what you really are. <laughs> Phony psychics. All right. Some more warnings, huh? All right. The damage a phony psychic does by giving false and faulty, false and faulty information. If it's faulty, it's also false. Why did it say faulty information or false information? Just because they had room to spare on this and padding it. The damage a phony psychic does by giving false and faulty information is devastating, misleading, interrupting, and destroying. They can break, wait, they can cause the breakup of friends? and families, and sometimes even lead to suicide. Sounds like religion. <laughs> we hope you will look over this list and be aware of possible signs. One, does your psychic talk more about themselves than your problems? 
This is called padding, all capitalized and underlined. Two, does your psychic have their own life together? Everyone has problems, but spirit would not put anyone in a spirit-granted position to administer to your needs that cannot control their own life. Put a flag up if your psychic has a, an alcohol, drug, eating, sex, gambling, or other addiction. Be careful, too, if they make excuses for having these. Three. I guess be careful if anyone's making excuses. Uh, real psychics know that God gives you free will. They do not insist you will die or have problems if you do not agree with what they say. This person is on a power trip, not a psychic. <sighs> Four, is your psychic obsessed with talking about sex, your sex life, or their own? Hmm. Five, does your psychic tell you that someone has put a curse on you that they can remove it, and that they can remove it for a price. Six, but what if it really did happen though? You, you wanna take a chance? Maybe it really, there was a voodoo ex. <laughs> Six. Real psychics return your calls or make it clear when they will be available to you. They are more interested in helping you with your problems than waiting until they are low on cash to call you back. Making excuse after excuse for their actions. Seven. Does your psychic insist on going into an area that you have asked them to avoid? Real psychics honor your wishes and treat you with respect. The real ones do. Now this is all crumbling. Sorry for all the noise this thing's making. Eight. Does your psychic tell you they are channeling the big league quotations there, such as Jesus, the Virgin Mary, Moses, etc. Think about it. Yeah, really, great advice for everything. Nine, does your psychic tell lo lots of clients they were someone famous in a previous lifetime, highly unlikely. Yeah, you're probably somebody unsung in a past life. <laughs> Ten, does your psychic discourage you from seeing a doctor or a minister? Or, or a witch doctor. They might need to shake some knuckle bones at you or something. You know, spit on you. Chicken feet. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, you know. <laughs> All that shit that's magical. And real. Eleven. Has your psychic completed 
courses in psychology, human services, or counseling. Hmm. Even more powerful psychic gift. Even the most powerful psychic gift is dangerous without proper schooling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can we get together? <laughs> no, I'm losing it. Sorry. As they cannot interpret or impart information correctly without knowing human emotion from a clinical standpoint. Those that are not educated run the risk of harming clients and giving false information. Twelve Bless your psychic. <laughs> this is important. I'm fucking it up. I'm sorry. Okay. Bless your. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my. It's been a long day. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Does your psychic play on your sympathy to get you to do what they want you to do? Do they make you feel sympathy for them to excuse their bad behavior? Real psychics. Do not tell you how bad their kids are, how nasty their spouses, or how abused. Uh, Printicles here, the most widely used ploy in Printicle. Uh, they were. How? Oh man, you know, feel sorry for me. We're now friends. I have your pen number. Uh, Thirteen. Does your psychic insist they were born psychic? Real psychics know that everyone is born psychic. Why wasn't I told that? Better start doing some mental bench pressing or something. <sighs> well, there's an org down the street. It's pretty cool looking. All right, We're training technology. Fourteen real psychics are rarely found at psychic fairs and other events where there are many psychics involved. Real psychics work stand alone. They are upstanding citizens in their communities and give tirelessly their time and energy to causes that help humanity. Fifteen, has a psychic ever told you not to touch them while they were are in a trance or channeling because they could get burned, a headache, or have other harm come to them? Think about it. What a loving angel or spirit guide from the God. <laughs> ah, that was pitiful. Uh, from the God, it is capitalized, hurt their, hurt his, wait, hurt their children? Sixteen. Beware of games or tools. God does not use tarot cards, pendulums, which is the subconscious at work, or other such nonsense. 
to talk to real psychics. How silly. 17. Does your psychic badmouth other famous psychics, especially accomplished, famous, or well-known proven psychics? Proven psychics, all capitalized there. Ah. Beware of the jealousy factor. This is a serious giveaway for a phony psychic, a charlatan, and a scammer. These so-called psychics are envious of the real thing and are running scared because of their limited, non-existent gift. But that, because, because their limited or non-existent gift cannot compete with real psychics, run. All capitalized from here on. Maybe you should put a red flag up in your mind if any of these things have happened with your psychic. All capitalized here. Don't degrade yourself. <laughs> oh, there it is. If you have been taken in by a phony psychic, or any kind of phony. These people are slick con artists. Con, con artists. And it's out of capital mode, you know. They got the cap lock unstuck. It's in smaller print. At, here's capital, capitalized here. Truth Center, that's capitalized. All of it. It is our goal to educate you so that it does not happen again. Just, yeah, it's just kneeling down, bending over. It's supposed to be something different. It's supposed to be. If it's your idea, it's all right. Uh, if you would like to add something from your own experience to this list, please, please contact. Please. Contact the celebrities psychic Nancy Bradley, and she's got her phone number, her PO box, and her email. Uh, yeah, her website or whatever it is. Uh, I'll put that in the information place wherever it gets put. And in, there's this sweet little heart bit of text. And uh, God wants the best for you in all ways, including those you choose to help you down your chosen path. We vow to continue to provide the best and most accurate help we can provide for you. That is our promise to you and the God light and yeah, that's uh, I hope that saves you some time and trouble in the future you know going by a carnival you know uh, have this handy and uh, check them out and there should be an agency looking for those people so as soon as they tell us what that agency is that they're working with that stop these scammers we can start reporting them to that agency. So maybe we should contact her and say, we want to know the name of the agencies that are, you know, work that you're working with. Or government sounds like, we're guessing. Maybe it's 700 Club. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I hope you learned something. You know, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, <laughs> peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having and if you learn something please share it we all want to know inquiring minds want to know